certain concepts it describes did not yet all exist. Remember this. I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame. A waking phrase to which you and the unseen artifact of my creation may respond. A waking phrase? And an all-seeing artifact, you must mean Aegis, right? So I'm to say to it, I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame, and it'll wake right up. Though, can you tell me what it means, or who? Oh, I can tell you almost anything. However, I would much prefer it if you learned most of the answers you seek by yourself. Aegis, I see you stand your ground against the Serpent's Flame. A future aspect. Beowulf is going to be tough. Grant me the aspect of Beowulf. What did you do, Boyo? All right. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a step. had plans for it, but I did not expect for you to be a part. The Guardian of Hell itself decides the time has come for a short break and snack. Thank you, boy. Here we are then, Aegis. This Beowulf will be most fortunate to have your protection. There you are, bearing my brother's blasted shield, flaunting it about so recklessly. Though what have you done to it now? Not much, really, besides awakening the aspect of a supposedly unstoppable dragon-slaying warrior called Beowulf. If it has the power to protect him against a giant lizard, I figure it may help me against you. You presently shall find I'm no mere giant lizard, boy. Though we shall see whether this Beowulf is any help to you. subjects to stay out of this.
stronger ones than this. Again, I... You... I did it. In the name of Hades. So joyfully did Zagreus attempt to gain the surface that why he just rose too quickly. And we know how that one goes from Icarus's tale. No, wait! Not bad at all, really. I knew you could do it. You wish to see me once again, my lord? It's been a while since I had an audience with you. It has. The last time, what was it you said? That there must be some resolution to the matter, as you called it, with my son? Well, it is settled now. Isn't it, boy? I mean, you're still trying just as hard as ever to prevent me from escaping past the threshold of your realm, so I don't know if I'd exactly call the matter settled, but it does feel different now. And so you see, I would continue in our mutual good graces, if you please. This house can only function if the upper management is in accord. What do you say? I say you honor me, my lord. I appreciate you telling me yourself, and I concur that, for the good of all the Underworld, it is imperative that each of us continue to perform at our full strength. Then, as you were, dismissed. The triple-headed monster Cerberus is dutifully sitting there as ever. Severus, not to get all sentimental on you, but... Oh, who am I kidding? Look, you've been with me my entire life. I know you're here at home partly because of me, aren't you? The bond between a hound and its master is as hard as adamant. Cerberus, the fearsome monster born of hell and guardian of its gates, answers firstly to the prince's father. But it turns out, the prince may be the next best thing. You're the best boy in the whole world. Even if heads Beta and Gamma don't much care for pets, do they? I've got more than enough lined up for you, though. Count on it. There's a good boy. I'm sorry, Zagreus. I'm pressing matters to attend to now. It's hard to think of anybody more deserving of this than you, sir. So when next you are off duty, or whenever the occasion warrants, please enjoy, all right? I suppose this must be what it's like to be a god, lad. Being shown affection such as this. And getting offerings. Are you quite sure? Oh, I'm absolutely positive. I would never have been remotely prepared for everything I've had to face, if not for all your guidance. And I don't just mean the violent stuff. Come now, lad. Admittedly, I was quite good at it, but I was nothing other than a killer. I would be wary of all my advice if I were you. See, that's why you give such good advice right there. The house is in order. Getting there. 